Today, I'm going to be taking trigonometry to the skies, where I'm going to be jumping out of a plane at the North London Skydive Centre. This is a wingsuit. Now, when I jump out of this plane, instead of falling straight down like a normal skydiver, this suit allows me to fly forwards whilst falling. If you track my flight across the sky, it forms a diagonal line from the point where I exit the plane to the point where I pull my parachute. Now, if you join up this diagonal line with horizontal and vertical lines, it forms a perfect right-angle triangle. We're going to use trigonometry to calculate the horizontal distance that I fly forwards. I'm going to label this X. When using trigonometry to calculate any length, you must have one length and one angle. Hey, family meter, tell me what height we jump out at. I can control the angle of my flight and today I kept the angle at 70 degrees. Before starting any trigonometry problem, write out the word Sokotoa exactly like this. S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A. Then draw three formula triangles around the word Sokotoa. Remember, S stands for sine theta, C stands for cos theta and T stands for tan theta. Step 1. Label your triangle. This length here is opposite the angle that we're given, so this length is called the opposite. This length here is between the angle we're given and the right angle, so it's labelled the adjacent. And this length here is the longest side of the triangle, which is labelled the hypotenuse. Step 2. Choose the formula triangle that has the side you want to find and the side that you know. In this question, we know the adjacent and we want to find out the opposite. So I'm looking for a formula triangle that has both the adjacent and the opposite in. So in this question, we'll be using the tan triangle. Step 3. Draw a blank formula triangle and fill in the boxes you know. Now, we're using the tan triangle, which says the opposite belongs in the top box. Now, I don't know my opposite, but I do know it's called X. So I'm going to put X in the top box. The adjacent goes in the bottom right-hand box, and the adjacent in this question is 3000. In this box, we have tan theta, and remember, theta means angle. Now, in this question, our angle is 70 degrees, so in this box, I write tan 70. Step 4. Cover up the box you don't know, and do the calculation the formula triangle shows. So, we don't know this box, X, which was the horizontal distance that I flew forwards today under my wingsuit. Now, to calculate X, we need to cover it up, and the formula triangle shows that we need to multiply these two boxes together. Because remember, when the boxes are next to each other in a formula triangle, it means multiply. So, X equals tan 70 multiplied by 3000. To enter this into our calculator, we type it in exactly how we've wrote it in our workings. So we press tan 70, we need to close that bracket, multiplied by 3000. Now this gives us a decimal answer. Now always round your answers to two decimal places unless the question tells you to round to something different. Now, because we've measured a length, we need to put some units in, and we always use the units that's given to us in the original triangle, in this case is meters. Now, it's really important that you set all your work out correctly and show all of your workings. In this question, we got one mark for choosing the correct formula, we had one mark for the correct workings, one mark for the answer, and one mark for the units.